this is Chris and I have a ton of Ryobi power tools and other accessories along with all the batteries that go with it. So I decided to design a, a new power station for it that I could use to charge my USB devices and to run a CPAP machine or a small inverter. Luckily I have a good friend that has an Airwolf 3D printer that he let me use so I was able to run a couple different prototypes. My first prototype worried about uh, the battery connection and the wiring. The second prototype I got it working functionally with all the pieces I wanted. And the latest prototype I've got it more of the look that I wanted it to have. I need to work on making it quicker to print. Right now it's one whole unit that gets printed with a lot of support that has to be taken out. To assemble it I started by putting the two switches in. I then soldered the spring clips to wires and then inserted them into the 3D print. I'm using a DC to DC converter to go from the lithium ion battery that goes anywhere from 20 volts down to like 16 volts to a regulated 12 volt supply. This particular unit can handle 10 amps output. I attached the battery wires to the system on-off switch and then connected it to the DC to DC converter. Next I installed the LED light and ran the wires to the switch and then I did a test with it to make sure it worked. You can order a bunch of different kinds of sockets. Here's a 12 volt cigarette light socket. You can just get um, 2.4 amp USB sockets. This one has a uh, type C plug plus a quick charge uh, 3 amp socket. And this one has two different uh, quick charge 3.0 sockets. So you can put these in any configuration you want. My big fat fingers, it was a little bit of a bear to get the sockets in and wired up. And it was even harder for me to get the screws to hold in the back uh, of the DC to DC converter. Future revisions, I think I might put nut holders right into 3D print. I wanted to test the 12 volt cigarette lighter. It's supposed to provide 10 amps, so I hooked it up to a battery tester and we set it to draw 10 amps and let it run out the battery. Okay, the P194 9 amp hour battery is supposedly rated for 162 watt hours. Uh, pulling 10 amps through the DC to DC converter uh, we ended up only getting uh, 133 watt hours. We tested all the other ports and they all were able to produce the amount of current that they said they could. Well, this has been a real fun project. I'm going to put the CAD files and the print files over on Thingiverse and I'll put links to all the parts that you need to build it. If you like the project, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.